Hello, my name is Wyatt Earp. I was born March 19, 1848 in Monmouth, Illinois. My father, Nicholas, was a lawyer and he preferred the life of farming. From an early age, my father taught me to stand up for what was right. When I was just two years old, my family moved to Iowa. In 1861, the Civil War broke out and my father and my three older brothers went to fight in the Union Army. Soon after, I tried to run away to enlist in the Army, but my father caught me from making a serious mistake and brought me home. In 1864, my father left the Army and my family decided to move to the West. It took seven months for me and my family to travel to California. When we arrived in California, we settled in San Bernardino where my father bought a ranch. Everyone thought that I was going to become a lawyer, but I decided to become a stagecoach driver. I traveled to places like Los Angeles and Prescott, Arizona. In 1868, I went to the Union Pacific Railroad in Wyoming where I was able to get some money. In 1870, I traveled to Illinois, to Oklahoma, and to Kansas City. In 1873, I found myself in a place called Ellsworth, Kansas. After seeing the local sheriff be murdered, the mayor decided to give me the job. However, I turned in my badge the first day after the judge released my prisoner. In 1874, I was named Deputy Marshal of Wichita, Kansas. After arresting a rich Texan named Abel Shanghai Pierce, as well as a few of his men, I made many enemies. Forty Texan cowboys approached the city, and I met them on the bridge. I stood up to the known killer, Manon Klamets, and the cowboys left. That was the last time Wichita experienced such violence. The violence soon moved to Dodge City, Kansas, and in 1876, Mayor Hoover requested my help. I agreed to become marshal, and I hired my brother Morgan as deputy. My first act was to draw a line between the town and restrict guns except those carried by lawmen north of that line. Farmers and cowboys had to check their firearms in before entering the town. Me and my men made many arrests each day. I was even given a special Colt 6 gun with a 12 inch barrel by Ryder Ned Buttline. After eight months, I had tamed Dodge City, and I began to get restless. I traveled to Deadwood City in the Dakotas, where I sold wood to miners. From there, I moved to Cheyenne, Wyoming. In Cheyenne, I received a telegram asking me to come back to Dodge City. And I hired my brothers Virgil and Morgan to become my deputies. Several cowboys tried to kill me, but they were not successful. In 1879, I stepped down and traveled to Tombstone, Arizona, where I became a deputy U.S. Marshal. John Behan was the sheriff, but I didn't trust him. Behan had ties with many outlaws in the region and allowed men that I had arrested to escape from jail. When a gang robbed the Bisbee stagecoach, I arrested a popular outlaw named Frank Stillwell. After Stillwell was released on bail, a fight between his friend Tom McClory and my brother Morgan seemed inevitable. My brother Morgan turned down the fight, but a fierce rivalry had developed. On October 26, 1881, the McClory's and Clanton's met near the OK Corral. Me and my brothers heard that they wanted to fight and realized that a showdown was inevitable. Me, my brothers Virgil and Morgan, and my good friend Doc Holliday headed to the intersection between 3rd Street and Fremont Street, which was less than a block from the OK Corral. The fighting seemed to take an eternity, but it lasted for only less than a minute. There were injuries on both sides, but Tom and Frank McClory, as well as Billy Clinton, were the only ones killed. Me, my brothers, and Doc Holliday were arrested for murder by Sheriff Behan. After a month-long trial, it was determined that we had acted within the law. In March 1881, while me and my brother were playing pool, Ike Clinton came in and shot at us. 
I wasn't harmed, but my brother Morgan was killed, and I vowed revenge on the Clintons. I quickly found and killed Frank Stilwell, and then I headed out to find the remaining killers. However, I was being tracked by Sheriff Behan, who wanted to arrest me. I was forced to leave Arizona because of murder charges and went to Colorado with my friend Doc Holliday. I started a new life in Colorado and made my money by playing cards. After Colorado, I moved to San Diego where I bought and sold real estate. After San Diego, I moved to San Jose where I started a racehorse ranch. In 1897, I traveled to Alaska where I attempted to find gold that had been reported there. I was unsuccessful at finding gold in Alaska, but I was very successful in the Colorado River Valley. I spent the rest of my life managing my mines in Colorado and my oil wells in California. I died on January 13, 1929, and my fame as a lawman has continued to grow since my death.